Welcome to the Farmland Information Center, American Farmland Trust, with funding from the USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service and other partners, have created the nation's largest online collection of information on farm and ranch protection and stewardship. In this video, we'll show you how to use the USDA NRCS's Web Soil Survey. We'll use this incredible natural resource database completed by soil scientists with field investigations to help you obtain the soils and land use information about your agricultural land. You can use this information to inform management decisions and to apply to a range of farmland protection and conservation programs, including the Federal Farmland Protection Program, known as asep Ale. The information you will obtain, including maps and tables, can be downloaded and saved or shared. The information is free. Let's get started. First, log on to Web Soil Survey. I always recommend that folks read the basic instructions offered on the home page before getting started. Also note that there are links to help the user find the closest USDA service center, as well as your NRCS state soil scientist. Soil scientists and other conservation professionals can help you use the Web Soil Survey if you have trouble getting the information you need. Click on the green Start Web Soil Survey button to open the Web Soil Survey. You'll see a map of the U.S. with lots of different tabs and buttons across the top and sides that help you access the information. First, let's find your property. There are two ways to do this. Find the Area of Interest or AOI tab. It's on the Quick Navigation header located in the left-hand toolbar. There are several options here. Click on State and County. Let's choose Delaware as the state and Sussex County. Then click on View to get the county to show on the Area of Interest interactive map. A basic map of the county will appear with major roads and water bodies shown. With the Zoom In Feature button active, this button looks like a little magnifying glass with a plus sign on it. Draw a box around the general area you're interested in by holding down your mouse button and enlarging the boxed area. You can repeat this step several times to get to the point where the parcel you're interested in appears in the map window. An aerial or satellite imagery background will appear on the map. By clicking on the scale button, you can calibrate and even select a scale for the map. This is optional. Please keep in mind that the soil surveys were made at a specific scale. If you enlarge the map to see more detailed imagery, you will receive a warning message about the limitations of the map and its use. I find it easier to find a property and find the AOI using the specific address if you have one, or even an approximate one nearby. Click on Address on the left-hand side. A box will open. Type in this address, 16483 County Seat Highway, Georgetown, Delaware. Then click on View. An air photo map will appear. Once the area appears on the map, you can adjust it using the small hand in a button or what we call the pan tool to adjust the location. Using the tiny magnifying glass tool button, use the plus or minus to adjust it to the size where the farm area is completely within the field of view. I like to have it in the center. You'll need to click again to turn the feature off to toggle to another button. Once you have the map location correct, you can select the parcel boundaries using the Area of Interest tool in the map. There are two selection tools. One button is for drawing a basic rectangular shape, that's on the left, that includes the Area of Interest, or an option to outline a customized shape, shown as a red multi-sided polygon, that's on the right. Today we'll use the Customize Shape tool since we want to calculate the acreages in specific areas. So we want to be able to follow the field and property boundaries as closely as we can. Click on the Customize Shape, then carefully clicking with your mouth with the plus feature, one for each point. The middle of the plus is where the point will be placed to create linked points to delineate the edges of the area you want to calculate. You must double click at the point where you started to close the polygon and create a calculated area. If you make a mistake while you're creating the boundary, you can hit the escape key on your keyboard and start over. 
or if you have completed it but you're not satisfied with the AOI as shown, click on the Clear AOI button on the left side of the screen and use the AOI drawing tool to redelineate it. Repeat this step until the cross hatching covers the site you want to assess. This tool will enable you to accurately calculate the acreages of different land covers such as cropland, forest land, etc. I've clicked around the edge of the field, excluding the small area of farm structures, which we'll calculate next to create an AOI. You will now see it in the box labeled AOI information and it is 36.5 acres. I identified and calculated the field to be 36.5 acres of cropland as a land use. I've written that acreage figure down since there's not an easy way to store this image in calculation. I'm now ready to calculate the small rectangular area that includes the farm structures on the left side of the field. Click on the clear AOI button so you can start a new outline of this area. Click on the Customize Shape button, then move the cursor to the edge of the farm structures area. Click once, move the cursor along the edge of the small rectangle, clicking on each corner, then a final double click back where you started. In the box labeled AOI Information, it shows the area of farm structures to be 0.69 acres. So I've calculated two different land covers, the large field and the small area with farm structures. My total acres are 36.5 plus 0.69 for a total of 37.19 acres. Using what you've just learned, let's re-outline the field excluding the 0.69 acre farm structure area to create a new AOI to produce a soil map. This is a key step if you want to find out the farmland classification and acreage. Click on the soil map tab on the bar near the top of the screen. This will generate the soil map for the AOI you have delineated. This may take a few minutes to load. The screen will then show a soil map in the AOI area on the right and the mapping of legend on the left with the soil map unit symbols and names and their acreage and percentages within the AOI. This is showing the areas dominated by different soils that have different physical and chemical properties that are important for how we use soils. By clicking on one of the soil map unit names, an abbreviated description about the soils in that closed area or polygon will be displayed. At this point you can print out a copy of the soil map or save it to your computer by clicking on the printable version button. A small window will open. If you wish to give your map a custom name, like the farm name, click the custom subtitle button and type in the name. Then click on the view button. This will generate a view of the soil map and other information as it will appear printed. If you have a pop-up blocker enabled on your web browser, you may need to disable it for this web page, or else the soil map may not be able to be generated in a separate window or tab. This multi-page file is a PDF file. Using the toolbar, you can print the map or save it to your computer. This map can also be emailed, but first must be saved to your computer as a PDF file. After printing or saving the soil map file, close the window by clicking on the soil map X tab. Now, let's generate a report of the farmland soil classifications for your parcel. Click on the Soil Data Explorer tab near the top of the screen to the right of the Soil Map tab. Under the Soil Data Explorer, under Suitabilities and Limitations Ratings, you will see 12 new tabs on the left. Click on the Land Classifications tab. There will be many classifications listed. Click on the Farmland Classification tab from the menu. Under the Farmland Classification view, you'll see several options, such as Map, Table, View Description, and View Rating. If you want to learn more about it, you can check the Description of Rating option box. We will click on the View Rating tab to generate the rating map and report. A new color-coded farmland classification map will appear on the right with a table below it. To get a quick view of what the colors mean, click on the Legend tab on the upper left side of the map. This will open the Legend page. Click on the X to close it. 
The table below the map shows the farmland classification status of each soil map unit, the polygon on the map in AOI, and the acreage of each soil map unit. As you can see, the soils in the map unit area, labeled HMA, are dominated by prime farmland soils. This map and acreage calculations are often required for farmland preservation applications. To print a copy of the farmland classification map, legend, and table, click on the printable version map and repeat the process described in the print or save the soil map. You can also add it to the shopping cart for later printing or saving as a complete report. The shopping cart tab or button in the upper right hand corner will generate a customized soil resources report for the area you outlined in the AOI. The soils report is chock full of useful information and it's quite lengthy. These soil maps are a great planning tool at the scale and time they were made, though there are some soil conditions that can be modified over time that may affect the farmland classification, such as removing surface stones, drainage, or mining. Land cover can change too, so try to field verify it if you think it's changed. If you believe there are changes on the parcel that have major impacts on the soils, contact the USDA NRCS state soil scientist about scheduling an on-site investigation. Thank you, and I hope you're successful in using the Web Soil Survey. Also remember that there are links to help the user find the closest USDA service center as well as your NRCS state soil scientist. Soil scientists and other conservation professionals can help you use the Web Soil Survey if you have trouble getting the information you need.